Thanks to the Oxford English Dictionary, it is now official uh, the pavlova belongs to New Zealand. No longer is there a debate, no longer are the Australians able to take it off us. The Oxford English Dictionary, who have done research, they are unbiased in this situation, have done their research and found that the first recorded recipe of a pavlova was in New Zealand in 1927. The first recorded recipe of a pavlova in Australia was, I believe, 1935. So uh, celebrations and salutations to all, yeah. the pavlova belongs to us. Well, in your face, Australia, because they're always <laughs> stealing our stuff. They can have Russell Crowe, but the pavlova was always ours. Right. Can I ask, just a question, is the Oxford English Dictionary sort of going outside its remit of finding, yeah, <laughs> finding, what, finding what words mean <laughs> here by trying to track down where pavlovas come from? When did they start doing this sort of thing? Well, we can, when we <laughs> believe them. Well, no, but we can have a look at that because uh, Fiona McPherson, who was the spokesperson for the Oxford English Dictionary, actually kind of answered your question. She said this. Uh, she talked about the, the word. She said, linguistically, it probably isn't as important, uh, i.e. what the pavlova definition is, but we have to be neutral about these kinds of things. We're, we're just as interested in where we can get the evidence and what it actually means. It probably does matter, at least if you're from Australia or New Zealand, it's nice to think that you might have coined or created something. So so yes, David, they actually say it is important for them to get evidence for the food, or for the word, sorry, and in mm. this case, the evidence pointed to New Zealand being the original place of the word. See, no one's buying dictionaries anymore, are they? So no. I mean, are they just trying to be controversial here and, and sell more dictionaries that nobody's buying because everyone looks it up online? Yeah, well, that's true. You well, know? The, but the thing is, there aren't a lot of things in New Zealand, and I don't believe that we can hold up our hands and say we invented. We invented some wire, and we're always going on about that. We invented Sir Robert Muldoon. Mm, and uh, aren't we, you know, didn't we do rugby things? There. What but, do you mean you we know, did we, rugby things? We do rugby things all we the time. We do rugby things. Yeah. What do you mean we do rugby things? Well, we didn't see, invent there's, rugby. There's not much of a pool of things that we've got to be hooraying about. Right. So, you know, we've really got to celebrate. street in the world. Yeah. We? Well, we do. It's all right, we, isn't it? We hey? talk about that all the time, yeah. quite frankly. Yeah. yeah. We've, got the, we've, got the street is, we've got the steepest residential street in the world. Mm. If we're being technical about it. Mm. Not the steepest street in the world. Residential street. Does yeah. that come from the Oxford industry? Like, I think it does yeah. as well. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to their edition next year because apparently they've got something to say on Far Lap and Crowded House. Brilliant. Excellent. Can't wait.